Come on here, let's say amen this morning. Amen. Come on here, let's say amen this morning. Yeah. This is the day that the Lord has made. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to rejoice. Come on here, somebody. And be glad in this day. Yeah. No matter what's going on on the outside of this house. Our God is an awesome God. Yeah. And I believe and declare, declare and decree this day that he's about to change this thing around, God. In Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Let us say amen again. Amen. amen. We're going to go to our scripture reading this morning. We're going to go to Psalm 91. All right, all right. Psalms 91. Verses 1 through 11. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High yeah, yeah, yeah. shall abide under the shadows of the Old Man. Yes, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. Yeah. My God in Him will I trust. Yeah. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shall thy trust. Yeah. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Yeah. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrows that fly by day, yeah. nor for the pleasures that walk in darkness, nor for the destruction that waste at noonday. Right. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Right. Look at your Savior, shall not come nigh thee. Yeah. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil be fell before thee. Right. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee yeah, yeah. to keep thee in all thy ways. May God have a blessing to the hearers and the readers of his word. Amen. Amen. Father God, we want to thank you for this morning. God, we thank you all that you're doing this morning, God. God, we just believe, God, that you are in control of every situation in our life, God. Yes, so that alone, Father God, we just want to say thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you God, for waking us up this morning. Yeah, thank you, yeah, God, for starting yeah, on our yeah, way, God. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you, Lord. God, for giving us another breath to breathe on this morning, God. Yeah, yeah. But that alone, God, we just want to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, God, we just lift up this service this morning. God, we lift up our yeah, pastor yeah. this morning. God, we just thank you that you're going to know him from the top of his head to the soles of his feet, God. Let your word come forth, God, as pure gold, God. And God, we just say thank you, God, in the name of Jesus, God. And God, we just pray for those, God, that are ill this morning, God. You said in your word that you was wounded by our transgressions. And you was bruised by our iniquity. The church, I'm not about peace of the Lord here, but with your strife, God, that we are healed, God. So we stand on it, we believe in God. In Jesus' name, yes. amen. 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 Amen.
survived the great sea storm they found themselves in, in the scripture says that Jesus was fast uh, asleep. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Now, 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 it says that Jesus was fast asleep. Yeah. And then now, now, the ship was being rocked back and forward, but Jesus was fast asleep. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, Father. Oh, Jesus was fast asleep. The ship was, was being rocked and, and back and forth, but Jesus was fast asleep. But the water was crashing mighty against the ship. Yeah. Right. Lightning was flashing. The thunder was roaring. Yeah, right. But yet, through it all, through it all Jesus was fast asleep. asleep. Uh -huh. yeah. and, and I come to tell you this morning that and sometimes in life, it seems as if when you're going through some tough storms in your life, uh -huh. as if when you're going through some trials and tribulations in your life, That's right. sometimes you may feel that the Lord had went to sleep on you. Have you been there? Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah. That when you're going through some things, uh -huh. amen, like, it seems like Jesus is asleep. Uh -huh. right. But I want to assure you that no matter what storm that you may find yourself in, uh -huh. right. and no matter what trial or tribulation that you may be in. Right. Always remember that that it had not gone unnoticed. Come on, here. Right. Tell your neighbors, have known unnoticed. Oh, that's good news right there. Come on, come on. Because whatever you're going through, amen, is not going yeah. unnoticed by the Lord. But the Lord sees all. Do I have a witness? Oh, yeah. yeah. But the Lord sees all and He knows all about what you're going through. That's good news there. Amen. That He knows what you're going through. True. Uh -huh. Oh, Papa, I told you. Oh, I, I, I feel like give a praise on here. Amen. Oh, yeah. He on. knows what you're going through. Oh, yeah. You may be going through some storms in your marriage. Uh huh. All right. In your relationships. Storms in your job. Storm at the school. Amen. Storms in your home. Storm with your health. Amen. Storms in your finances. Come on, yeah. Or whatever. Just remember. Tell your neighbor, just remember. <laughs> just remember, God. See it all. Oh, that go for it. And not only do he see it all, but he knows all about your situation. <laughs> but 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 yet a question is being asked. I, I, I'm glad, glad you asked. A question is being asked. Why was Jesus fast asleep during the storm? Come on, man. <laughs> why, 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 why was Jesus fast asleep during the storm? Oh, yeah. Come on. But well, first of all, Jesus was not asleep because of he was unconcerned. Uh -huh. Because Jesus is a carrying car saint. Yes, yes. Yes. And he cares all about you. No matter what storm you may be going through, and no matter what trial or tribulation that you may be in, and no matter how adverse or how bad the situation that you may find yourself in, just remember Come on. All right. that Jesus cares. Yes, sir. Yeah. Over in 1 Peter. Five and seven, it says, casting all your cares upon him, uh -huh. for he cares for you. Yes, sir. Now, 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 there are some good reasons why Jesus was asleep during the storm in this passage of Scripture. Right. One of the reasons why Jesus was asleep during the storm was that he was tired. Uh, right. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. And then that's the good reason to go sleep. Because he won't. Right. Huh? Jesus was tired. Tired. Uh huh. Whew, I bought it. Oh yes, he he was he was tired. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Thank you, Lord Jesus. He was tired. Huh? Right. Huh? He had been preaching all day, healing the sick all day, casting out demons all day. Uh huh? And because Jesus Christ was human and divine, you know he was human and divine. Yes, yeah, sir. Come on. It, it, it is his humanity because he worked all day long. Yes, yeah, sir. Right. And Jesus was. Tired. Tell your neighbor, he was tired. He was tired. And when Jesus got tired, he did the natural thing that we do. Go to sleep. Amen. Uh, that's, what, that's what you do when, you, yeah. when you're tired, you go right. to sleep. Yes, sir. Now, now another reason, uh, another, now another question is being asked. And the question is, how come Jesus did not wake up when the ship was being tossed to and fro? Uh-huh. Back and forth, up and down, during the, the sea storm, while sailing on the Sea of Galilee. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad you asked. The reason why Jesus did not awaken himself when the ship was being tossed mighty during the sea storm was because Jesus had a deep trust and faith in his father. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
He had a deep trust and, and faith in his father. So, so if his father had it all taken care of, why would he be worried about anything? Uh-huh. All right. I'm almost through here now. Come on, come on. Well, well, he believed that no matter what storm that would come his way, uh-huh. Jesus believed that his father would take care of him and protect him. That's right. And, and that's for somebody this morning. Amen. Regardless of what storm is coming your way, you've got to believe that God is going to uh, uh, protect you in that situation. That's right. Oh, won't want to do it? Do I have a way to do it? Want to do it? Yes. And this is how our faith in God should be. Uh-huh. Even though we're going through this, this viral situation, amen, we ought to believe that God is able huh, to protect us in that situation. That's right. Come on. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should trust God so much that we believe that no matter what storm that may come our way, we should believe that God is going to take care of us and he's going to protect us. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's right. We should be able to rest in the Lord, believing and trusting God to help us when we're going through a storm. Uh huh. Oftentimes, St. John, I ask the person, how can you say that he's your captain? Yeah. Uh huh. If you can't make it yes, through a storm. Uh -huh. Now, now notice that while Jesus was asleep in the midst of the storm, his disciples trying to work their way out uh -huh. of the storm. Mm. All right. Now, notice it. They was trying. Mm. Huh? Amen. To work themselves out of the storm. Mm -hmm. They were trying to figure out how they were going to survive the storm. You know, it used to be a song that says, Amen. While, while you're trying to figure it out, he already got it worked out. Come on. All right, all right. And he said, he'll work it out if you let it. Uh -huh. Now, they were trying to figure out how they were going to guide the ship through the dangerous, watery waves. They were trying to figure out how they were going to keep the ship uh, from being overflowed with water. Huh? And that's how we sometimes are, amen. We're trying to figure out how we're going to survive. Yes, sir. And when we're in trouble, we try to figure out how we're going to get out of, uh, of the trouble ourselves. But when we're in trouble, we need to call on the Lord for help. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, I better say it again. When we're in trouble, uh -huh. we need to call on the Lord for help. Yes. Uh -huh. And that is what the disciples finally did. Notice that. That's what they finally did. Yeah. Come on. And that's where we are. We go to everybody else. Uh -huh. until, uh, and then he's the last resort. Uh -huh. The scripture says the disciples came to Jesus uh -huh. and they woke him saying, Lord, save us. We'll perish. Uh -huh. And that is a lesson for us to learn. Whenever you find yourself in trouble, uh -huh. you need to go to Jesus and say, Lord, mm, save me. Uh -huh. And when you find yourself in adverse situations, <laughs> Or in a bad situation, uh -huh. yeah. you need to go to Jesus and say, Lord, save me. Uh -huh. When you find yourself in pain, uh -huh. discouraged, uh -huh. depressed, uh -huh. down and out, uh -huh. you need to go to Jesus and say, Lord, uh -huh. save me. Uh -huh. When you feel like you're about to lose your mind, uh -huh. you need to go to Jesus and say, Lord, uh -huh. Save me. Hey, yes. When you call on the Lord in the name of Jesus yes. to save you, the Lord will answer mm -hmm. and deliver. Uh -huh. I better say it again. Hey. The Lord will yes. answer uh -huh. and deliver. Uh -huh. Now notice what Jesus said to the disciples. Uh -huh. When they woke him from his sleep, uh -huh. he said to them, why are you so fearful? Uh -huh. Oh, you uh, look faith. Uh -huh. In other words, Jesus was saying, uh -huh. Why are you worried? And I come to tell somebody, Jesus is asking the question, why are you Yeah. Jesus, hey, 
will bring But I say to my heart Don't worry The Lord will make my way St. John Baptist Church, or you may send to our post box, P.O. Box 503-37, Fort Worth, Texas, 76105. Amen. Amen. Ways to give are also on our website, and that is St. John MBC Temple of Praise.org. And by all means, you may come to the church during the service if you want to drop off your your uh, seat if you want to. Amen. And of course we have our alternative Bible study on Wednesdays at 7 from Metro PCS and T-Mobile. You have the first dial 520-420-9026 and then next dial the conference number 605-472-5643 and that access code is 2321 Five, four, and others may dial 605-472-5643 and that access code is 232-154. And that's a reminder of next Sunday, we'll be back on the, on, the, on the website and on Facebook at 9 a.m. And we look forward to your presence because God has a word for the body of Christ. Amen. 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 <coughs> Father God, we want to thank you for your word this morning, God. We thank you for our pastor, God. God, we speak strength back into his body, into his mind, into his soul, God, into his spirit. We thank you, God, for the leader of this house, God. In Jesus' name, God, as we leave this place, God, but certainly not your presence, God, we do thank you, God, for traveling grace. In Jesus' name, may God bless you. Amen. 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 Amen.